What's up YouTube, Dustin here. And we're looking at the 2022 Cougar 22 RBS. Uh, about 5,400 pounds, uh, about 26 foot long. Uh, smallest Cougar on their lineup, half ton towable. Um, figured we'd start off at the front and kind of check out what they did here. So all your Cougars are gonna have a power tongue jack, of course, and you're gonna have 30 pound LP tanks right behind that. And your battery box back there. In 2022, they added the uh, uh, this box up in the front, which is going to be your battery disconnect, and it makes it a lot cleaner than having to search for it either underneath the trailer or in the pass-through somewhere. Also, being so close to the battery itself, it is a true battery disconnect, so there won't be any parasitic loss. Kind of give you an idea what the pass-through looks like here. Uh, pretty good space. It is a lit pass-through as well, so there is a light fixture on the other side there. They do have side marker camera prep, both on uh, the door and off-door side of the Cougars here as well this year. Your cable in and your docking station are going to be right there. Black tank flush is standard on this. Another thing to point out while we're on the outside, all these baggage doors all magnetic and all slam latch as well. So none of those uh, uh, pins breaking on you. The marker lights that they did on the front, if you can see here, they did it in amber. Uh, reason being is because it's the few, one of the few road legal colors that they can use. So you can leave those running while you're going down the road if you so choose. There's the uh, marker light for the other side there and our power awning, which spans about the whole length of the coach here. You do have an LED strip underneath, outdoor speakers, which are uh, water resistant, of course. And then you do have uh, cable outs here as well. What's cool about having this fiberglass side is some uh, uh, trailers that I've seen come in trade, they've made these cool little suction cup contraptions. So you could suction cup your TV right onto the, the wall there, hook it up, and you got your outdoor entertainment. You do have your six gallon water heater, of course. And the other thing Cougar has done for their 2022s is they've added this solar flex feature. So this is all uh, on top of solar prepped. It does have a panel on here already uh, with a, uh, I believe it's a 160 or 180 watt panel on there. Enough to trickle charge the battery, keep your lights on. Uh, it won't do the air conditioner or such like that, but it is an upgrade that you can get through Keystone if you want to order one. Swing out grab handle and the fold away steps. They've added this in 22 as well. So there's a couple pins here now. So you can actually take these steps right out and probably not much of an issue, but on the dealership lot, when there's other trailers so close, sometimes they're packed right in and being able to take these out kind of just makes it easier to get in the camper if these are getting in the way. So let's head on inside here, starting off right at the edge. You do have a huge wardrobe here in the back uh, hanging there if you want to throw some clothes up or if you want to use it as a, a pantry that options there too I like the hardware they used and the the wood stylings on this it feels a little bit higher end the the shaker style cabinetry and such underneath again some good storage under there and another little third spot down here so really heavy on the storage your breaker box is right by the door there, so it's easy to get to. Some rear living floor plans I've seen have been, oh, tough to get to. And here's the interior. Very spacious, lots of uh, walk around space, especially for, you know, a couple's coach, something like that. Uh, before we get too far, this is the in-command system. It's been on Cougars for a few years now, but it's it's uh, something really cool that they do. So this pairs with your phone. You're able to uh, close your slides and awnings and stuff. Really comes in handy if you're, you know, at a campground close to another site and you want to make sure that slide's going to go out without hitting another camper. You can do that with your phone here. And it does your HVAC controls as well if you want to make sure the camper's cool when you're getting back into it. Let's head on into the bathroom here. For a small trailer, 26 foot, it's actually a decent sized restroom in the back and they didn't skimp on the storage either. So up top here over the commode, you do have a nice little linen closet. This is a porcelain toilet as well that is not plastic. And in here you have your medicine cabinet. Inlaid sink as well, so you don't see the bowl, the edge of the sink coming up over it. Just makes cleanup a little bit easier. 
and your outlet, of course. Shower's a really good size. They did the Neo Angle shower. And just to give you a kind of tier, I'm six foot tall. I got all day in the world to stand up straight. There's no issues on that end. All right. All your heat's coming out of the floor for in-floor ducts for Cougar. It's just a more efficient way of delivering that heat. Uh, sometimes you'll see it coming out of the, the cabinets here and stuff, which they're using a, a dryer vent, essentially, for that. And it's just not quite as efficient. Went with the residential 12-volt fridge in the Cougar this year. So that now that they've added that solar flex, they can really rely on these larger... Uh, fridges they forego that gas option but that removes all these fins in the back and just gives you a lot more square footage for storage onto the kitchen area here you got your one piece countertop lots of counter space on here and they do have storage in the kitchen as well look at that underneath there same idea Before I get too deep, actually, I'd like to point something out here. One thing on Cougars, they're a high-end trailer in the industry, and I see a lot of trailers coming in and out of this place. There's little things like this. You see how they added that, um, that plastic inlay on the cabinet where they cut out for that? A lot of times, I don't see that for manufacturers, and they'll just cut the hole in, run their pipe, and just ship it that way. So extra little things like that. Greystone appliance package here, so you have your microwave, your range hood, does have your light, and a nice little fan. Three burner cooktop, and they do light up as well, see if I can't get that on. And about as full size of an oven as you can get in a camper. Onto the sink here, you have your 50-50 metal bay sink, residential pullout for the faucet. Underneath that, plenty of space for a... Uh, uh, trash can, something of the sorts like that. There is a nice little cover that fits right over here too if you want to use it for a, a cutting board or such. Onto the slide out of the coach. Windows throughout, so you'll be able to get a nice view. Flip the light on, it is on a dimmer switch as well. So if you want to set the mood. Allure furniture in this, so these are recliners. They do heat, they do massage, and they have a nice little light up LED cup holder as well. They've switched out, there's no more carpet in the coach at all. This is a easily sweepable surface that they use on boats and such like that. So really easy to clean, no stain in the carpet. And I'm trying to save the best for last here. They did add this. This is uh, for the 22 RBS. They've added this little breakfast nook here. So a spot to Put a couple stools or something like that. Have your breakfast right here, right next to the kitchen. You do have a swivel TV that comes out. You can either angle it to watch from the recliners there, or if you're laying in bed, you could watch some TV in there as well. Opposing windows in the front here next to the bed so you can get a cross breeze. And I know you can't see it, but that is an automotive window in the front as well. Don't mind the, the snow that's covering it. Overhead storage above the bed as well. Looks decent. Same on the other side. And they did upgrade the mattress. I know 90% of campers out there are not great in the mattress aspect. They went with a high density foam. There's no springs. It's uh, actually decent for a camper mattress. So good upgrade there. And now that I see it, see if I can get my camera down there. See that little yellow sticker on that outlet? So that is a solar flex prepped outlet, or inverter prepped, I should say. So that solar panel and your 12 volt power will be able to run 120 volt off some of these outlets here. And I believe there's one in the restroom and one in the kitchen as well. And I think that about concludes the tour of the Cougar here. Hopefully that was able to help you guys out a little bit. And if so, leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about it and what you didn't. And uh, we'll take it from there. Again, Destin, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy your day.